everyone and welcome back to Queer Conversations. My name's Fee, I use she, her pronouns and I'm the lead resident artist in our Living Arts program based here on Ghana land. Today, I have the lovely Ellie with us to talk about Wear It Purple Day. Hi Ellie. Hi Fee. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Ellie. I use she, they pronouns and I have been involved with Life Without Barriers for almost 10 years. The one of the main things I've been involved with is the Living Arts program and I have done so many wonderful things with so many different artists through Living Arts and they, it's, the, the program and the social groups have really helped me to develop into who I am as a person and being able to express myself freely. I was the peer facilitator with Living Arts for the Create um, Foundation Voices in Action conference mm -hmm. at the Adelaide Street Grounds. And what is that conference all about, just for those that don't know? It's about letting people, young people from all around Australia um, who have had a foster care experience from ages 12 to 25 to interact with each other and to let their voices be heard to people in positions of power and, and policy makers. You can listen to the peop young people and what they are saying they need for them in the future to be to start being changes. Could you tell us a little bit about your journey to understanding your identity, how you identify now, and what things might have helped you along the way? So my career identity has changed dramatically over the years. I was about 15 or 16 when I first identified, I thought I was a lesbian. And then I, thought I was bisexual and then I discovered what pansexuality was and then I worked out I was asexual but I'm still pan romantic. So while you may not necessarily have that sexual attraction or desire that sexual relationship with someone you can find yourself romantic to folks of any gender. Yes. What was your experience as that 15 year old Ellie thinking, oh, I think I'm a lesbian. What was your experience with your carer? And we can name her if you want to. She That's called her face. <laughs> well, she wasn't wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> but she does accept me for who I am. Yeah. And it wasn't like, oh, it's just a face, you'll get over it. It was yeah. like, you're exploring. Yeah. I don't think that's you. Like, yeah. I think she kn knew before I knew mm. that I wouldn't want that sort of relationship with someone because I'm not the most touchy-feely person. One of my favourite okay, TV cool. shows was growing up was Buffy the Empire Slayer and the relationships in that uh, um, they they've got Some good multiple representation. Represent, yeah, good representation in the, that. Yeah. And I think that's an interesting thing because since you were a kid, since I was a kid, we've had different representation make its way into mainstream media. That was one of the biggest representations in mainstream media when I was when I was growing up. Yeah. But now there's so much and it's amazing. Yeah. What challenges do you see for young people today? Being accepted by people around them. What would you say to a young person knowing that they're on their own rainbow journey if you can see that they're not in the most safe or affirming placement, environment, school, whatever that might be, what would you say to them to encourage them to stay true? I know this is says, like everyone says this and there's, um, it's so cliche, but it, it does get better. When I was 16, I was in a dark place and I couldn't see myself anywhere in five years, 10 years. It's been 12 years since I was 16 and I am here today. And I'm, so and I'm advocating for young people and trying to advocate for young people and change in the foster care system and just to be who you are. That's beautiful. So me being she, they, that it's really, really new, like this year new. So it is something that I am trying to see if it fits me. Yeah. I think that's another thing, going back to that whole, it's just a phase. I think for young people, we need to give them the opportunity to explore who they are and try on new things. It could be a new way they dress, it could be new pronouns. Could be a new hair colour. It's like when you let a young child start walking, you let them fall over and stumble and try and make, try and let them do it themselves, but mm. you still support them. So 
So the best thing we can do is actually just show up and listen mm -hmm. and accept them however they want to identify and walk alongside them. Yes.